Things to check before buying your first car. A car guide for first time buyers. As we all know, buying your first car is one of the greatest feelings, achievements and experiences you as a car enthusiast <laughs> will ever go through in your whole life. Now that you have your very own car, you are free to do whatever you desire. However, one thing you should bear in mind before any of that is that you must message before God. Check these important things before buying your first car. Number one, the advert. It doesn't matter if you've heard about this car from a dear friend or a pop-up ad on a car sales website. Make sure everything adds up. Photos, location, previous owners, car owner's history and service stamps. Even the colour of the car. Because the last thing you want to do is do a James May and buy something that's apparently blue with four-wheel drive. Well, I'll tell you what it did show in the picture was that it was blue. <laughs> and ends up in red with a flat tyre. Did it say in the advert that all four tyres would be pumped up? No. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. It's all in the details when it comes to the advertisement. If they don't care about the ad, they don't care about the car and most likely want to get rid of it ASAP. Now, that's not always a bad thing, but you don't want to find yourself halfway home having paid for the car and then end up somehow transporting a loaded machine gun, 40 kilos of coke and now somehow having a 10k bounty on your head. Take more time with your research and you'll be rewarded with the car that you came to buy. Number two, company. When going to view the car, take a friend or relative with you. Not for muscle, because if that's why you're going, then you probably should ditch the whole idea together. No, it's a good idea if when viewing what could be your car, that you are able to check it over safely and properly. Perhaps if they have a certain area of expertise, they will know where to look for hidden signs of abuse or lack of maintenance. Or maybe they're great at sweet talking their way into getting you a better deal for the car. Whatever the situation is, it's a great idea to take spare hands and eyes with you. Number three, the engine. Even if the car is red and not blue, or has three-wheel drive instead of four-wheel drive, if the engine hasn't been looked after, it will not get you anywhere. It doesn't matter how clean the car is or how comfortable the seats are. If the engine's screwed, so are you. And that's what gets you places. And ultimately, you're buying this car to get you to places. Ask yourself, have they taken care of this? Will it take care of me? Open up the bonnet and give the engine bay a brief but good inspection. Check for broken fans, spilled oil, melted plastic. You most likely won't come across any of these, but if you don't check, you don't know. Always check the car that you're about to buy has always been dealt a good hand and taken care of. Number four, interior. This is ultimately where you'll be spending most of your time. Check for things like the radio and air conditioning. Make sure that everything is working as it should. Of course, you won't be able to do the same things with things such as airbags, unless of course you repeat what this Muppet did and write off your car two minutes after the purchase. But things such as the spare wheel, seats, seat belts, mirrors, instrument cluster are a good idea to check before handing over your hard earned cash. Number five, the exterior. Seat belts and lights are a must, but if the brakes are rusted, the suspension has collapsed and the doors won't lock shut, then you're sort of in no man's land. First of all, have a look at the bodywork. Check for rust and loose window and panel seals. Even if you spot something as small as a two pence coin, be persistent in getting a satisfying answer of walking away. And while we're on the subject of walking away, check that the car has a proper immobiliser and a central locking system. Look at the state of the wheels and the tyres as well. If either of them has any cracks in it, walk away. Sure, you can replace them, but if they haven't bothered looking after what keeps it on the ground, then it's probably a bad idea of you going and driving it. Number six, test drive. If you only ever do one thing when going to view a possibly future car, always, always, always take it for a test drive. This, above anything, is what will tell you what the car will be like to live with. Like we said before, that's where you will be spending the majority of your time. So make sure that it's where you want to be. Be cautious of the weather though. Try not to view the car on a day when it will be dull or wet. You want that day to be the one that opens up your world of cars. By getting you one. So make the most of it. Number seven, don't pay full price. Usually when a car that is relatively well priced and maintained, the owner is a pleasant person and probably will not be one to rip you off. However, that doesn't mean that the price is justified. This is just another great reason to bring an extra person. Try and work down the cost. If you bring another person, the current owner might be slightly less confident in asking for a stubborn price. So give them a haggle. If they don't budge regardless of their original price, then it's probably best to walk away. That nice person may be just hiding something that you don't want to know. Or maybe that's just how they are. But when buying your first car, especially when it's a used car, do not pay full price. Number eight, insurance. What's a car without insurance? Well, I'm sure if you're from East Detroit, that won't be your first thought. In fact, if you're from the East Side, actually paying for the car probably isn't on your mind. However, for us over the pond... Literally being with Livingston. Yeah. And... <laughs> 
<laughs> insurance is something worth actually taking part in. Make sure before even going to view the car that you're able to insure the thing. Well, sure you can, but is it worth it? Can you afford it? If not, look elsewhere. So those were eight things to check before buying your first car. Comment below any more things that you think are important to check when you're buying your first car. I've just found a packet of Lees in the center console. Of course, this is a slight change in how we usually present our videos, but of course, let us know what you think so we can see what works best for you. So the previous owner then, he liked to be safe in bed, but he disconnected his airbag. Also, head over to our website at www.revengetdaily.com for awesome car reviews, talk and hype. And lastly, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share this video with your friends because I need you and I miss you. I can't remember if I took my malaria pill this morning. If I were a girl, I'd be pregnant a lot.